you very much. My uh, presentation is entitled Fairy and Drama, the Stage Towards Utopia in the Real World. So, then, you may be familiar with the um, uh, political cartoon of today in different forms that here we have that one librarian asks another, would you like my head? Could you help me move these from the fiction uh, to nonfiction aisles? These are all dystopian uh, novels such as 1984, Fahrenheit 451, uh, Brave New World, etc. And so the message is that our real world is approaching the dystopia within fiction. Uh, the dystopia being the opposite of a utopia, an, uh, um, the opposite of an ideal society, so uh, uh, not at all a, an ideal society. However, I hold the diametrically opposed philosophy that we can create our own utopia in our real world by absorbing the magic uh, within the, the fairy land of that fairy tale. Magic comes in many different forms. So then I will begin by reflecting on very significant philosophies of art and life. There is Aristotle's philosophy of mimesis that art imitates life, as we can see here. And then centuries later, Oscar Wilde's anti-mimesis philosophy that life <laughs> imitates art more than art imitates life. I really believe that art and life uh, work in collaboration, and we, as the public, can make the most of this uh, collaboration and accordingly optimize our real life. This is very much in line with my philosophy that we can embrace the uh, magic within the fairy land of the fairy tale to make our real world a utopia, a uh, fairy land an, uh, in its ideal version, in its optimal version, then I really love how we have uh, there, uh, Laura Levine, the great scholar of today, uh, much like I have proposed to mut uh, mutually working forms with art and life, she proposes that theater is magic and magic is theater. So we have the case here. This is another such example, theater being a form of the arts, the performing arts. And uh, the, the, I find, much like I mentioned earlier, one form of magic we can find is in the theatrical land. And so the fairy and drama, that which is in my title of my presentation, is what I consider to be the dramatic performance of the fairy tale. Isn't this just so lovely? Cinderella's pumpkin coach on stage here. And so, then, now I will get to how it is we can uh, really ego the magic within the fairy tale. That is with, with both our light and dark sides. I will uh, especially be focusing on the dark side which in, uh, within us so if we look closer at a fairy tale and real life itself, we will find that it is not really all um, sweetness and light. 
but it is all about there was darkness within us as well. So uh, Sigmund Freud, the psychoanalyst, has proposed sublimation as a mature type of defense mechanism in which socially unacceptable impulses or idealizations are transformed into socially acceptable actions or behavior possibly resulting in a long-term conversion of the in initial uh, impulse. And one such uh, uh, acceptable form uh, is through dramatic performance or any other such engagement in the realm of the arts. Therefore, Carol Wade and Carol Travis propose that sublimation occurs when displacement serves a higher cultural or socially useful purpose as in the creation of art or in inventions. And really especially like we have an expert on our uh, inner life as well as the realms of the dream and the stage in William Shakespeare, who is one of the major figures who has developed the concept of inner life within the human being. Many feel that Freud was influenced by Shakespeare, and Shakespeare has uh, really embraced and intertwined the Baroque concepts that life is a dream and the world is a stage uh, to make them Baroque twin metaphors. And so then we will delve into the inner psyche, psyche, which has the forms of magic in themselves, white magic, as well as black magic, or what I like to call demonic magic, we have the inner angel within us, as well as the inner demon. And um, there are many such forms of the magic. I will now delve into a few. The, we have the purity of the inner angel. And when we are under pain, we often, we could succumb to the evil of the inner demon, then I really love the emotion of love, which is our natural state of being, and specifically amatory magic itself, such a beautiful magic. And the opposite is we know as hatred, and we have hope as an inner angel, uh, and despair when it comes to being the inner demon. And so we have it within us to be the playwright of our fairy and drama in our life, to accordingly be the hero, hero or heroine of our fairy tale here as we see and leave a legacy as the Victor. So now I will begin and showcase the light and dark of the fairy tale. I will begin by singing an excerpt from the song In My Own Little Corner from Roger and Hammerstein's musical Cinderella.
chair. I can be whatever I want to be. On the wing of my fancy, I can fly anywhere. And the world will open its arms to me. I'm a young Norwegian princess or a milkmaid. I'm the greatest prima donna in Milan. I'm an heiress who has always had her silk made by her own flock of silkworms in Japan. I'm a girl and the rapper here the game I can play with a cool and confident kind of air. Just as long as I stay in my own little corner, all alone in my own little chair. So now I hope to have exemplified how we can really be the playwright of our destiny here, right here, the power of our imagination can, ex 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 especially how it can empower us. This is the power of the light within us. Now I will showcase the power of the dark within us by singing an excerpt from Scar's signature song, Be Prepared from The Lion King. chance of a lifetime. Be prepared for sensation, no you. A shining new era is tiptoeing nearer. Just listen to teacher. I know it sounds sordid, but you'll be rewarded when at last I am given my dues. An injustice deliciously squared. Be prepared. It's great that you soon connected with a kid who be all time adored. Of course, quick pro pro, you're expected to take certain duties on board. The future is littered with prizes. And though I'm the main addressee, the point that I must emphasize is you won't get a sniff without me. So prepare for the coup of the century. Be prepared for the marquee scam. Meticulous planning, tenacity planning. Decades of denial is simply why I'll be king undisputed, respected, saluted, and seen for the wonder I am. Yes, my teeth and ambitions are big. Be prepared. Okay, so we have an example with Scar. It's very interesting here of somebody who is under the pain, which really brings up uh, out our dark side there. Hence the term Scar. And um, it's interesting at one moment, I was uh, mentioning in my own life, own life with certain uh, matters which I consider poetic injustice, that be prepared is my motto, but my friend told me, remember that, that's, uh, that I know you said it at an emotional moment, but remember that Scar dies at the, as the villain in the end, and I just would not want to be that to be your legacy. So then that was a very important point 
right there, not to go down that slippery slope at that moment, but instead we can at certain dark moments really use art such as drama or performance or song to really catharsize oneself and exercise oneself. And I will fortunately end on a light and happy magical note by now singing an excerpt from Belle from Beauty and the Beast who I feel the princess of, from Disney, who I find myself most uh, uh, in common with. Expedient of the Sable Traveler. town it's a quiet village every day like the one before little town full of little people waking up to say bonjour 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 There goes the baker with his tray like always, the same old road we need to tell. Every morning just the same, since the morning never came to this poor provincial town. Good morning, guys. Good morning, you see. And then finally, to the Ending. but in a different form she does not know. And as we know, she goes to fulfill that fairy tale in her own love story with the beast here. So um, I really <coughs> love how this fairy tale, how um, <coughs> Belle's song uh, showcases the magic of love, henceforth amatory magic because in this case, it even really purifies the beast and converts him from a demon back to his natural state of the prince. So as we find, we are able to really exercise good control of the light and dark within our inner psyche through the magic of the realm of theater. Thank you very much.